today we are here with another extremely difficult challenge. We're going to be trying to beat Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, a game all about a character from Mario, Jumpman Mario. We're going to be trying to beat the entire game without jumping a single time. I haven't actually tested this out to see if it's possible. We already did Super Mario Odyssey and Super Mario Sunshine jump list, and those games were both pretty tough. This game, I don't have as much experience in though, so I'm a little bit nervous about how far we're going to make it into this challenge. If at any point in this entire playthrough we accidentally jump, we're resetting the entire game. If I get all the way to the end and accidentally jump and have to reset, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. This is where the boys are separated from the men, alright? We got a whole ass level here, it's no longer a tutorial, and we still can't jump. I'm going to be trying to go for as much completion as I can. That wasn't too, too challenging. I thought it was going to be a little bit more difficult to get through that level without jumping, but we made it. I think there were a few sections where we could have saved time, maybe by jumping up the ladder or like wall kicking or something like that, but I mean, we still made it through, no problem. Oh, this is an easy level, you just kind of walk it over here. What happened? I forgot to start my timer. Everyone just pretend that says like five minutes or something. That wasn't too bad. We definitely could have benefited from a couple of jumps, especially when we fell down. It would have been nice to just like do a little side flip, wall kick, dive straight back to where we were, but it is what it is. There's a reason it's a challenge. This one's making me use my brain. Oh. I threw the key off the edge. Thank God that most of these levels are like wheelchair accessible or else this challenge will be completely impossible. That one was pretty easy. And it was our first level with a timer on, so I think I had all the confidence of a speed run, basically. Is this not an easy jump like I thought it was? Oh, there's a wall there. Making me use the camera controls in your little Captain Toad game. Ha ha ha. Bet you think I look like a an idiot now. I gotta be careful. I really gotta check like before I go down into places if I can get back out without jumping. That could have been a, a real big bummer if I went down there without checking first. But I think if I step on this, yeah, and then we get on this ramp. Oh, that brings me just all the way up. Perfect. We had a potential there to like mess ourselves up and have to quit out of the level, but we, we saved it. I used that foresight of mine. We made it through and we didn't jump. So we're basically epic gamers. Me, mommy, mommy, mommy. Two toads? Oh, this is one of my wildest dreams. We missed a gem. It's sitting in the window with like a beautiful little lady just calling down to Toad. It's singing all, with all of its little heart out and Toad is staring at this railing. <sighs> I want to kiss. We kiss each other in the back of the head. It's kind of like our thing. That's how we show that we love each other. All right, that one wasn't too tough. See, the scary part is, is I wasted my turn up and usually you'd be able to jump on that guy to take him out, but I'm not doing jumps. So I just kind of have to run away from that guy like a little beta Toad boy. Oh, I wonder if I can like slide off onto this guy's head. Oh, look at that. Absolute gaming legend. I bet nobody else has ever thought about that before. Ugh! If these turnips were not here, we would be absolutely screwed by these guys. Oh, see, this sucks, because usually you could just jump up and keep your pickaxe and talk to them, but I can't jump. That's another, like, big thing that's going to screw us over, is usually you could, like, just jump up this little path and keep your turn up and then throw it at a shy guy. I wonder if I could, like... Yeet it. No, I can't even yeet it over the ledge. It's too tall. See, I'm gonna have to drop my turnips here and not actually use them for this fight, which sucks. I'm a little bit nervous about once we get further in the game and there's like less turnips because they're expecting you to like jump on people. And that's another level completed. That was like our first like scary level where I was really like really wishing I still had the jump. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to that jump because I think you're supposed to jump over to it and like slide into that hole. Yeah, we get to be nice and on the rails and do FPS toad mode. Did anyone else ever play that like iPhone game where you like, you're going through a corridor and you throw like metal balls at glass? I don't know what, what it was called, but I used to play it a ton when I was in middle school. I mean, this is a basically a free level unless they throw a, a jump at the end of it. Yup, okay, sick. They bounced us over the ledge and it looks like it's just a slide down to the end. I might have to keep my momentum to get into the star. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. I think if I lost my momentum coming down the slide, I might not have been able to make it over a little gap there and get to the star, so. So, like, right off the bat, it looks like there's, like, some blocks that I could jump over. Man, it sucks, because I speed run, like, a lot of Mario games, so my first inkling is to, like, jump on this and then long jump over there and just finish the level, like, no problem. But because we can't jump, it's like, I'm having to find all these, like, weird, unique ways to get through these levels. It's pretty fun. I think I can get up here and then maybe rotate the bullet bills to break these blocks. All right, first things first, let's break these blocks. Okay. Okay, we got those blocks out of the way to give us a gem later. And then we're gonna break these two blocks, and then I think we're gonna point the bullet bills shooting into, like, nothing, so we don't have to worry about them for the rest of the level. It sucks not being able to jump on those birds, because those birds are such a nuisance. Oh, I can't jump and butt stomp on these. Can I get him to do it? 
Yo, look at that. That's super dope. And they got another wheelchair ramp. Easy, dub. Look how shiny toad shoes are. Little gumdrops, little jelly beans. I just want to hop, hop. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I just stuff my mouth full of toad feet. First boss might be kind of tough without jumping. Maybe we can find a ledge to walk off of and like smack on his head. So he's going to be blasting fire. We can't jump over the fire, so we're going to have to use these walls as best as we can to avoid him. Oh, this is going to be tough. We're going to have to make sure we have a wall in front of us at all times because we can't jump over his fireballs, which is going to be raw. I hope there's no point where we actually have to do like jumps over the lava like parkour shit. Okay, maybe maybe we can actually get through this without dealing damage to him. I wonder what happens if we grab the star without jumping on him. Okay, we've got lava puddles that you're supposed to jump over, but I think if I time it right, I'm just gonna have to sit here and wait though, which sucks because the lava's rising. All right, there we go. We might have to damage boost here. Oh shit, we made it just barely. We're gonna have to wait for the lava to disappear and just kind of like thread the needle. Ooh, that was close. All right, climb this tower. We should have dealt damage to him like two or three times. We're gonna get the star. What's happening? Oh, that's cool. All right, so if you don't actually jump on him for the rest of the fight, they have like a little cutscene that plays where it hits him in the head. That's cool. I like that. There's like a little pacifist version. Okay, so I think that's the first world done. Completely jumpless. Zero resets. Kind of a gaming legend if I do say so myself. I can't do a dive because I can't jump. So like usually this gem is like a free gem to get to because you can just dive into it. But I can't dive. So I can't jump on these guys and there's not really a lot of turnips in this level. I'm wondering if I could maybe stomp on them from like a platform above. I can't come out of the water either because I can't use the jump button to swim. So we're gonna have to be careful not to get stuck in any water. Okay, yeah. See, here's another spot where it wants us to like... Like, swim up and then wall kick to the top, but we're gonna have to find another way around. There's a ladder here, so I can at least get more vertical. There's like a whole section of level that we didn't even get to see because we're we're doing jumpless, but let's just grab the star and get out of here. I think that's the first time that we've ever encountered like a, a whole section of the level that we just couldn't go to because we couldn't jump. This would probably be pretty easy if we just like swam up to the top and then did whatever we had to do, but I think we're gonna have to try and find pipes that actually bring us up there. Oh, see, there's... I don't think we're gonna be able to get that gem. I can't jump for these blocks, but can I get these guys to stomp them? Oh, that one opened up. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, sick, and then we pull the lever without having to jump at all. Dude, some of this shit makes me feel like the developers maybe, like, intended you to do some of these levels jumpless. I don't think we need anything from that blue pipe. Yeah, so we'll just come down here and get the star. Dude, that little trick where we dropped off and, like, landed on the, the platform in the water, that was pretty sick nasty. Oh, this is one of those free levels, so sometimes there's, like, free levels where if you don't want the gems you can basically just jump over a block and get right to the star but because we can't jump over the block we're gonna have to actually like do the whole level oh okay cool so i can blast that we'll just be careful not to fall somewhere where i can't jump back up i'm the cheese man and there we go easy star it feels so weird to play a mario game without being able to jump oh shit we can't jump on these guys we're just gonna have to damage boost through them i don't think there's anything else we can do i don't know if there's a way for us to get back i may have screwed us oh wait i can come in here i can come in here i was kind of worried that i had like soft locked us there a little bit Oh shit. Oh, the movement, the sh movement coming out of Toad. And we got ourselves another star. It's that easy. I know with these donut levels, they do like making you do like triple jumps to get like extra height on shit. But so far it seems pretty doable. Not being able to jump over these guys is kind of a pain. Sometimes they'll like perfectly block your area, but we're getting like pretty good cycles on this. Can I throw a turnip at the gem? Cause I can't jump over there. Can I, yeah. Okay, we got it that way, sick. I think we're just gonna have to damage boost. Yeah, let's transfer it through them when they're like this. Oh, just barely made it through. Hey, look at that. That wasn't too bad. Not being able to jump on pair of beetles was pretty spooky, but we made it. I don't know if I can get that without jumping. So I think we could just probably like long jump from here and get it, but that door might be able to get me there. Sick. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, I can take out ghosts with the light on my head. Oh, okay. So I don't have to butt stomp on them. Let's go. I legitimately feel like a lot of these levels were like made with a jumpless challenge in mind. Oh, you can break blocks by touching them. Yo, I don't need to like jump and butt stomp on blocks or get enemies to do it. I can just straight up like use my little my little motion control. We only got one gem in this level, which kind of blows, but I don't think the rest could have really been done without jumping. The big bird boy came back and took my star. You already have one, you selfish. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever done a jumpless 100% run of T Captain Toad. Don't worry, babe, I'll get you. Oh shit. That's one hot looking bird. Same as the last boss, usually you're supposed to do like jumps on its on its like little gem there, but I'm not gonna be able to jump. So I think there should be a star that I can collect at the end of this though. I wonder if they added like a little secret for getting it without jumping on him again. How am I gonna get over this block? Oh, he pushes it. Oh, that's perfect for me. If he didn't push those, I think I'd kind of be screwed. Oh, we do have giant turnips. Okay. And can I yacht? 
There we go. Okay, that does some damage. Sick. So we don't even need to jump. I'm glad they give you like alternatives. It's like in Kirby bosses, how like they expect you to use your power ups, but they also give you stars in case you don't have power ups. Bro, this fight does take so much longer when you can't jump on him though. Yeah, usually while he's doing that animation, you can like do a little side flip and land on his head. There we go. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that animation of him dying by eating a turnip. Yeah, stuff like that makes me feel like they did think of like alternate ways for you to beat this game. It's pretty cool. First world done. Not a single jump happened. Still haven't had to reset the game yet. I think we're going to go for, for all chapters. Okay, sick. We'll grab this. Bro, that intro section takes so much longer when you can't jump. I think typically you can do like a backflip dive and just get the star immediately than if you're doing like a normal speed run. Oh, these levels look so much harder. We can't jump on them, so we're just going to have to turn quickly. Okay, let's come down here. This might have been a bad idea because there is a charging chuck down here. Oh, oh, he just yeeted himself. Bro, what am I supposed to do here? I can't jump on these guys when you expect me to turn this shit like... Oh, just crank it quick, crank it quick. Run, Dodette! What are you doing, you freak? Grab the star and get out of here. There we go. Her levels are so much more vertical. I feel like it's going to be so much more of a challenge to beat these without jumping. I'm scared of coming down here because we can't jump over these charging chucks. There is so much stuff down here that's going to kill me. No jumping is crazy. That's what I'm saying. It does. It's not like too scary until you're surrounded by enemies and you can't do anything about it. Like I'm just having to dodge and weave everywhere. If I fall into the water here, I might be screwed. So we're going to be careful. Dude, that's so messed up. The star is right there. I could literally hop up and grab it, but because I can't jump, I'm going to have to do like all the weird completion stuff and go all around the entire map oh i can't jump on any of them pick these up pick these up what is it what is it oh we got a pickaxe we can actually kill some of them sick we took out some gooms all right let's go get our star oh god oh god okay but we're gonna have to stay on this platform though because i can't jump from platform to platform thank god they gave us infinite turnips or else this would kind of suck all right this part's gonna be scary we're gonna have to throw turnips at bullet bills while they're moving at us this part in the like the normal game is so easy because you literally just stand in place and jump and you just bounce off of them and there's like no danger at all but i actually have to like snipe them with turnips okay they seem they seem cool now Easy dub. Time to shuffle around on these slabs. Big old slabs of meat and I'm shuffling on them. 12 big old slabs of meat at Ram Ranch just waiting to be shuffled. Let me show you what it says when people subscribe on Twitch now. Morph 23 is now a rat gangster, member of the Morph 23 crime family. This level when you're speedrunning is actually like super easy because you can just do a wall kick dive and get up there immediately. A lot of orange juice and soap. You've been drinking soap? A lot of orange juice and soup. My bad. I'd like to apologize for everyone out there who, uh, uh, I may or may not have accused of drinking soap. I just found out I can't read. This might be our first unbeatable level if we can't jump. Oh, wait, there's a hole right here. Does this take me to the backside? Oh, sick. Why would you spawn big boos like that? I am afraid and can't jump away. Bro, that one was way more rough without being able to jump. That might have been the hardest level so far. Oh, yeah! Lol, was that you? What are you talking about? That was Toadette. She got, like, really loud for a second for some reason. Run, Toadette, run! Okay, this one is gonna be a little bit more challenging. We got, like, little cranky spots. We gotta collect ourselves. Oh, I've, uh... Oh, bah, bah, I didn't practice myself. I don't even know if we can do this spot without jumping. I'm gonna have to time it really well. Oh god, get behind the wall! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I need to climb, I need to climb, I need to climb. Holy shit, we are cutting it close here. Give me a mush, for Christ's sake. Thank you. Oh, the star's right there. Sick. Okay. And hopefully they have the same thing where if you haven't actually dealt any damage to them, it actually lets you finish. Oh god. Fast, 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 fast. Easy dub. Give me my star. Holla! Still haven't had to reset yet. Let's go! Murder! Yeah! I think the intended strat is probably just to do like a little hop across this ravine, but we can like line it up perfectly to get ourselves over. Look at that. I'm not going to mess around and go for any extra gems because I'm nervous that we're going to get stuck somewhere. So we're just going to get out of here. Easy dub. If this above spot wasn't here, we would not been able to finish this level. Crank that hog. That's what I'm saying. Up and down Terrence. Climb up Terrence and slide down that boy. Hey, what's up, Terrence? You want to know what it's like to live in the void? Yeah. I miss Terrence, guys. Can I use this Terrence to throw at that Terrence? I'm gonna wait until he comes up and throw this little fella at him. Ah, bah, bah. Oh, I missed! I missed and I paid the price! All right, get out of here. Final Terrence has been eliminated. A gruesome nightmare for everyone named Terrence, but people named Toadette, easy dub. I feel like this would be the perfect place to hide a secret. The secret is that Toadette just became aware that she's living in a video game and there are invisible walls and she's having an existential nightmare. Ah! What is this? Let it be a mush. It was a key. Give me the key. Let me throw! Yeah, I threw my key because I'm mad at the world! It's gonna be the least satisfying thing ever, not being able to do like a little triple jump across these guys' heads, but you gotta do what you gotta do. If I don't have something to bust- Oh, okay, I can move them down. Very thoughtful. Thank you, Nintendo. There's like so many spots where they give you the opportunity to break blocks that you can't jump over if you're doing jumpless. 
It's like kind of insane. Okay. Oh god. Okay, that was scary without a jump. We just like barely made it, but it worked. Okay, those guys I cannot jump on, so that's a little bit scary. Oh, they gave me turn up. Sick. Okay. So now we just gotta. I died. That was our first death of the entire run, and it wasn't even because of, like, trying to do a skip to get around jumping. Where's that last gem at? I, I didn't even see it. Is it, like, inside this this chomp boy or something like that? It's probably inside that piranha plant. I think that gem was probably impossible because we couldn't jump on that piranha plant. They can't make everything work out for me. I understand. It is what it is. <sighs> oh, hopefully there's an alternative way up because usually you would bounce up all those guys all the way to the top. What does this button do? Oh, I think they gave us an extra path because they knew that some people were going to f*** it up and not bounce on them all the way. Okay, I was really worried that we weren't gonna be able to kill all these guys because that's what triggers this bridge falling, but we got it. Let's go, dude! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I throw a turnip in here and then stun lock him? Yo, that's so cheap. We don't even have to jump on him. We just get to stun lock him. Oh, shit. This is tough. This is tough. Oh, uh, Goomstack. I can't do anything to them. All right, let's just run. Let's run. Oh, we get a turnip cannon. Okay. Okay, so I can actually break all this shit. Sick. Like, honestly, if I was gonna speedrun this game, I'd just speedrun it without jumping because it makes me uh, so scared that. I start zooming through all the levels. My want to live out outweighs my need to jump. That's how the math checks out. We're reunited with our little man. Bro, you can't just take Toadette like that at the last second. See, that's an ability that we don't get to use a lot in this run because we literally can't jump, but Captain Toad has like a little flutter kick like Yoshi. It would be extremely unfortunate to make it this far into the game and then find out that we can't finish it in like episode three or something like that. We haven't had really like any trouble. There's a couple of gems that we haven't been able to collect, but besides that, it's not bad. There's so much going on right now and without being able to jump, I feel like I have like no security blanket or no like safety safety measures at all to deal with these guys because usually if these guys like bounce at you you can just like hop over them like whatever let's get out of here while we can let's go that level was kind of tough let's see if i land on this yeah that launches me cool okay so we're not going to need to worry about jumping on this can i make it up this oh, oh just barely without jumping this should fling me on top of them Nice. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. We don't even need to jump here. Sick. Let's go. Okay, good thing it's on a timer. I was worried that it would activate when you jump, and I was like, all right, this one's not doable. Because most Mario games, it is activated by jumping. We're waiting right on the edge. That's how I live my life. Right on the edge. One little toad foot away from ending it all. I measure in units of toad feet. Yo, we couldn't make it in time because we couldn't do like any triple jumps or anything like that, but the ladder came in clutch. Let's go. I can't jump back up there to get the gem. Why didn't I collect it when I was there. I want to jump up there and get it so bad, but I know we'll have to reset if we do. All right, we're going to skip it. If I stand still and I press the run button, I just turn on and off my headlamp. I don't know why you would want to do that unless like maybe there's a ghost level where you actually don't want to stun them. This one looks vertical and there's a lot of blocks that I need to hop over. So we'll see what happens here. Ah, ah, grab it. Take damage. Whatever. I don't care. I'm out of here. Oh, I see. I see. I can have them. I can have them break those blocks for me. Run, 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 run. All right. That one definitely would have been made a little bit easier with jumping, but that honestly wasn't too bad. The last couple of levels have been treating us pretty right. This has been a pretty smooth challenge so far. Oh my God. There's so many goop men. Okay, just run away. Okay, we can't jump on these guys, so we're gonna have to stun them. These guys, I might be able to make it around if I just sprint. Let me try. Yep, we made it. Okay. Looks like there's no gap, so we don't really have to conserve our speed, but... Oh! We actually get some coins for coming under here. Oh, minecart levels, how I yearn for you. Look at that horde he's got. I mean, it's tent is f***ing bussin'. Let's destroy the ecosystem! Yeah, boys! Start mining! Take all the valuable resources! Oh, my bad. I may be making a sacrifice, but at the same time, I want five Captain Toads. We have made a sacrifice. It was an executive decision. Oh, we could have just come up here, bonked this guy, and then jumped down here. We would have still had Left Toad. What have I done? Oh, hi, Left Toad. How are you doing? No man left behind. In formation. Why does one of you have your headlamps off? How did we get out of sync like that? Maybe that's how we determine who the real Toad is. I want the Toad that has the headlamp off to catch the star. That's the real Toad. You cannot just give me un unregistered access to a cannon like this. I am going to abuse it. That was like my biggest worry is that I was going to like run out of like catchable gems and I was going to have to stop not because a level was unfinishable, but because I couldn't unlock a level because I couldn't get enough gems. But it's really seemed to work out pretty well for us so far. The last couple have been completely doable without jumping. I would be surprised if this one wasn't doable. Oh, run, raise it. Okay, so that's how we're gonna have to avoid him. We're gonna have to bait him into firing at us down here and then raise our level. Convenience mosh. Ah, I've killed myself. Oh, what a bassoon. He's got no idea what's going on. He's such a doofus. 
Oh, uh, I shouldn't have said that. I meant you're such a, a cool fist is what I was gonna say. You just misheard me. Uh, you're like you're like a big strong guy with a cool fist. Okay, we got a little wall there, but it's not gonna last. We'll wait. Oh, that's cutting it close. That's cutting it close. All right, keep running, keep running, keep running. Damn, we got we lucked out there. I could see a future where we got bad RNG and it was like wanting us to jump and we couldn't jump and we ended up having to redo the whole fight. I could see that negative future in my mind's eye. Bring me my money. I'm gonna shut off my light so we're sneaky mode. What? I shut off my light. I was in sneaky mode. Turn up. Give, here's a quick tip. Bro, I'm almost done with the game. What do you mean? Here's a quick tip. Razzle dazzle slider. I think I just need to hit these buttons. Oh. Bro, you don't even have to do the level. You can just use touch controls. That's so f***ed up. Zero resets, let's go. I know, dude. We haven't had to jump a single time. It's kind of like crazy how far into this game you can get without jumping. How's Prowler? Bro, I call everyone a Prowler. Who are you referring to? I'm a Prowler. Is there about to be a lot of men? This is quite a few men. Bro, this shit's gonna suck without being able to jump. I need so many of them to get stunned. Run away, run away, run away, run away. I'm just a little birthday guy. You wouldn't want to hurt me, would you? My ass, dude, I didn't even see it coming. Bro, call me that one song from Persona because I never saw it coming. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Goose, this stupid goose, I gotta keep him stunned the whole game. You're a bitch of a wizard. You bitches ready to be blasted? Cause I'm ready to blast. Bop, one shot for each of you. Bop, you ruined it. Let's grab the star. Let's go! Oh, we got a little Donkey Kong level. They call that mo jump man for a reason, and I can't be jumping, so... I think I can use these balls to launch me like we did in the last level. Oh, coming in clutch! Holy shit, that would have been a bummer if I couldn't make that happen. But 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 Wake up right now! I'm shining lights in your eyes. There's no time to be resting. I gotta find gems and shit. Oh, just give me the star. F I want the gem so bad. We might die for it. We might die for it. It's worth it. It's worth it for the death. Oh, this one's cool. Yeah, it's gravity's doing all the jumping for me. <laughs> there we go. And we got all the gems and I almost died right there. Easy level. I'm in space now. Oh yeah, I can get coins in peace. Wait, I can flick off their sunglasses? Bro, I have never seen these guys with their sunglasses off. They look goofy as hell. <laughs> Bobo. Hopefully this one's just like a speed level that requires literally no jumping. That's what I'm I'm hoping for. Absolutely sick. No jumps required on that. Dude, this would be so much easier if I could just run down the center path and jump. I give you permission to jump. I won't do it. Simply put, I will not reset. Even with chat begging me to jump. This challenge is impossible. You can't do it. Against all odds. I will do it. I won't jump a single time. Yeah, boy. Oh, you rat bastard put me down. The final boss, Wingo's attack. Let's go. That's not what it says. It doesn't say Wingo's attack. It says Wingo's whack down. My brain, it just does not function fully ever, period. Final boss. Oh, she's trying to blow me. Blow, she's trying to blow Kevin Toad with the wind. Is what I meant. Kevin Toad getting blown away with the wind. <laughs> I'm choking on something. I don't know what it is. Oh god, the bird's trying to kill me in real life. This is the hardest challenge we've done yet. Captain Toad without jumping. We're in the final boss fight. Where am I? I am praying to God that they give us big turnips so that we can actually finish this. If they require us to jump, I'm gonna be so bummed out. Bro, you can't blow me and give me no protection. You can't do something like that. It's f***ed up. Okay, he's spawning in turnips. Get turnuped. Let's go. Get turnuped. All right, we got one extra turn up here. We might be able to skip a, a sequence here. He took my extra turn up, you rat bitch! Let's go! I think that's it. I don't think there's another phase. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, completely done without jumping a single time. And we got the final star. Holy moly hot dog. That was a very tough challenge, but it was very fun. A lot of like the puzzles and stuff that they usually require you to jump for, Super fun to figure out without jumping. That's Captain Toad Treasure Tracker done completely without jumping. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.